What up, people? Riven the Legend here. Welcome back to Modern Mania Wrestling. Let's get it popping. This is the draft. It's going to be a shorter one today because there's not a whole lot that I want to do. There is one big, huge acquisition which I will show you. Uh, first off, we're going to show you with who we've sent to other federations. So. I've gone through the records, a bunch of people really didn't do very well or just weren't booked and which is partially my fault but also partially because we didn't need them and they didn't stand out as people requiring booking so if we go to OAE and manage the roster we have sent Plague away, uh, we've also sent one of our female superstars away as well, 48 shows they will be gone. There was just nothing I was really using with them here, Dark Plague, Black Plague, Dark Plague, B The Plague. I'm just not really a big fan, there's a new personality there to draw upon, I know you could probably go like The Undertaker route, but it wasn't really working for me. Uh, we go to r and manage the roster, we've sent away Kazaya and we've sent away Flint Decker, who could be cool, but again, had a very bad year for me statistic wise, wasn't really doing much, off you go, see you later. So they've gone and they've left our federation and then finally an XPW. Uh, we've sent away Swish and Eliza Bratt. Again, just weren't using them. Our roster was quite big. I feel like we didn't need any of them in here anyway. So there you go, Eliza Black and Swish. Um, Flint and Kazaya. And then finally AoE, uh, Night Fang. That's the one I couldn't think of, and Black Plague. So, they are gone. Gonzo. If we look at our end of year awards, so Reaver, Libra, Sun Samoa, Slashmaster, Richie B, and Haruki Enyu are our kind of big stars, but I've made a huge acquisition. A very big acquisition. I will show you right now what we have done. So we're going to go to Wrestlers, uh, Wrestlers Men, because it is a male superstar. And are you ready? Because here it is Gridiron. We have switched to the Gridiron Alt. Spent me a few coins on it, but it's done. It's done. Gridiron Alt is going to be coming in uh, as a baby face, which kind of surprised me. Honorable. So, close to tweener, but slightly on the baby face uh, side of things. So, this is going to be our big one. I'm really hoping this is going to help us with our uh, title issue where the title just keeps switching every single week. We're going to bring Gridiron in, see if he can grab the belt and hold the belt for a while. Look here, world champion. I mean, this is one year. In one year, this is how many world title changes we had. Crazy. Only three reigns had a successful defense. See, not good at all. So, that's the big acquisition, is we've got Gridiron. So we're now just going to go through all of our wrestlers and just have a look, see if there's anyone else we want to take out or bring in. So these guys are all on the roster. I'm quite happy with all of these. Uh, Biozan is not, I don't think, but I think at this point, anyone who's not been sent away, I will just use as my roster. So we'll probably give him an opportunity. He only 60 on the draw, so I don't really know how much we're going to achieve there. Bayonet went 0-4. Bit of a shame. I'll, I don't know if we're going to be using him that much next year. Brooklyn Bell 0-2. It was just very, it was very hard for champions to keep their belts. I mean, even Carolina Strutto, who is by far the best statistic uh, female we have, went four and five last year. Crazy. Celeste, two and six. It feels like everyone lost. That's what it feels like. Claymore we didn't use. And again, I'm not a huge fan of that gimmick. So probably won't use. He'll be in the roster, but probably won't use them. The Cyber Blue is another one we didn't use. Uh, but I mean, for the tag team division, why not? Domingo was one of our big stars. Kind of unlucky, realistically. Kind of unlucky not to win wrestler of the year. Won world champions, 12 and 4. Big year for him. Uh, El Tecnico Rojo, we're definitely going to bring him in, have him uh, tag up with Quebec. Grand Magna, Greg Quebec, and then here, hopefully, is going to be the big game changer next year. We'll see. We will see. Probably still not going to use Grimcraft. Uh, hijack. Okay. Ice pick Dominic. Ice pick Picked up the Cruiserweight title. 3-2. and two. Again. We'll see. It's just a case of will people 
uh, will people keep the belt next year? Jin Kinsey, 9 and 8. Mostly as a tag team. Jolly Fu are probably on use because I has gone. So, we, I mean, we've got a decent lineup here. But like I said, the big issue is the titles. It, it, like, it's a massive issue. Because there's just no point doing it if they're just going to keep switching the belts back and forth. We've got Metal Wolf, 45. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You can't do nothing here. What is Morbid's actual push? 61 with a 15 push. Well, it might be a bit higher. 100% uh, not going to use Mystic. Not a fan of Mystic. Uh, Night Fang is gone. Pendragon. 0-2. Oh, we'll probably use a little bit more next year. I did, I did quite like him, but didn't start using him until the end of the year. Reaver was Wrestler of the Year. 7-6. and six. I, feel like, I feel like I robbed Domingo. I can't lie. I feel like I robbed Domingo. Reaver won the belt a few times. Was one of the only ones to actually put down uh, a couple defences. I, I feel a little bit bad. I feel, I feel like Domingo was robbed there. Maybe he'll come out with a point to prove next year. Uh, even the Reviver. One of my favourite card arts in the whole game. Mixture of Broken Matt Hardy, Bray Wyatt. Beautiful, beautiful card. Uh, but yeah, not very good. And the stats. It's the stats, people. Richie B was fantastic. 13-8. and eight. The only person to have a long title reign of any sort with the TV title. Roberto Samba, Shadow again, I've got him, but probably won't use him, I mean, what are you going to do with that? What are you going to do with that? I mean, there's stuff you can do with that, but I'm not going to be doing nothing with it. Sharif, Shiva, had a good year, but 4 and 5, it just, like I said, very weird, just feels like everyone lost. Son of Samoa, that's my dude. Hopefully we can get him in the uh, title picture, 8 and 4, but mostly as a tag, the tag team did very well. Swish is gone. Sixty-one. Nah. Come on. Tara. Seventy-three. Mm. Silencer. Don't think I used. Oh and oh. Probably bring him in. Use uh, Thumper more. I really like, but nothing there. Seventy-three on the draw. Willie Saratoga. Warhawk. One and three. Ah, she's got forty-three overall rating there. Zubermeister, I don't see myself using. Or Zed. I mean, no. Just just no. So because of the size of the roster now, I think I will keep them all as one roster, minus the ones that have been sent away. But as you can see, there's a few people there I won't be using. Certainly none of like the um none of none of the enhancement talent. Not gonna be used. But very excited about what's gonna happen with Gridiron. But we need to end this. Huge. I mean it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine different world champions in one calendar year. That's crazy. Reaver was a three time world champion. Domingo. I feel like I robbed Domingo. Looking back on this, I feel like I robbed Domingo. Unless there was a battle. Yeah, Reaver won Battle Royal. Maybe the Battle Royal puts him over the edge. I feel like Domingo was a bit unlucky though, not to get it last year. Uh, four tag team title reigns. I mean, look at the TV title. Richie B, at least in his two reigns, well, two of his three reigns, managed to hold the title for a little bit. But well, yeah, this is dreadful. Look at the women's. No one had a defense until November. Crazy. So yeah, I hope that is the big problem. We need that to be fixed. Otherwise, it's kind of crazy. So that is the draft. I'll see you uh, very soon for January. Thank you for watching Revenant Legends. See you again. And peace.